risk. It actually happens around a drum kit too. You might have six or you know eight open mics around a drum kit that you know have sound coming out of a drummer's monitor. Just angle those mics away from the monitor to cut, help cut down uh, on that feedback. Now, by the way, feedback can happen on things other than microphones. If you leave a guitar sitting right next to an amp with that volume up, the strings on the guitar can start to vibrate and then you can get feedback in that same way. I actually remember one time, this is a long time ago, there was a really low rumble on stage when I used to do sound in a mega church. All the musicians had left the stage and I had everything muted except the pastor's lavalier mic, but there was this rumble around 100 hertz that was just building and building and building. I couldn't get it out of his mic. I suddenly realized that the bass player on stage had not turned down his bass and left the bass on a stand like right next to the amp and the A string was starting to feedback on its own. You know, I had the, the bass amp muted on the main speakers, but it was just ringing on stage through his bass amp. So tell your musicians to kill their instruments when they move off the stage because guitars can do that. Okay, so I think we have all the general rules of reducing feedback on a physical level. Basically, keep the mic and speakers aimed away from each other and try not to have your mic's most sensitive axis in your feedback zone. Now, the other way to reduce feedback is to just lower either the overall level or you know, some particular frequencies that are feedbacking. You might just want to just pull down the overall level of all the vocal monitors if you're getting you know, too much ringing. Sometimes band members can get involved in loudness wars and you may kind of need to play bad cop and just say, hey, the stage volume is just too loud and we just have to tame everything down. In some situations, you can slice out problem frequencies, not at the source, but in the monitors. You can place a graphic equalizer or a third band equalizer to notch out particular frequencies uh, that are feeding back. Now, you can try to do that at the source microphones channel, but that will affect everything. You know, it'll affect everywhere, including the main mix. If you notch out a little of your problem frequencies at the monitor, then that will be cut for anything going through that monitor. It's just very handy for giving you a much louder signal before uh, feedback. So, I mean, how do you find those frequencies? Simply just push up, go through the various frequencies until you hear one take off. Then notch out a few dBs of that particular frequency and you'll be good to go. 